Okay guys, so I'm gonna be ranking the haunted houses and the scare zone at SeaWorld's Hollow Scream event. I'm joined by some some creatures. To <laughs> to help me with the ranking. Um, probably putting in their last bids to like for the, the scare zones. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna start by ranking the haunted houses. And I'd say there's three of them, and I'd say the third scariest one definitely has to be Nightmare Experiment. It was really fun as like an experience, but like a lot of the times I was just like, I was like really more startled than I was scared and that's why I was like screaming and laughing um, because there was like really cool like areas. Like as you go through, like when you go into the spot where there's like the cafeteria, it's like super duper nice. What a lovely neck we have, my dear. Oh, thank you. They're everywhere, everywhere. Where was I? Oh yeah, okay. So, um, the cafeteria, super duper gross. That was like really disgusting and disturbing. And then they had like all of the patients that were scattered throughout that would just like scream and jump out and startle you all over the place. Uh, that was really, really cool. I think like one of the actual scariest parts that I thought was there was like this little like, girl kind of like curled up on the floor and she wasn't like a real person but she was like such like an interesting like little figure that like I was like really curious and I started to like really look at her and then all of a sudden like one of the other like patients came out from behind me and like startled me and I was like ah and that was so that was like legitimately like really scary and I thought that they prepped it really well I like when you like first go into the maze and it actually like it shows off that it's like a happy place it's like supposed to be like a happy asylum and you're not supposed to know that like there's a bunch of horrible stuff in the back so I thought that that was like a really nice touch and I thought that that was really cool but I still think that nightmare experiment is my third scariest maze my second scariest maze uh, is actually Simon slaughterhouse this was really close I want to say that first and second were just like really really close especially because like there were the, the pig faces Oh my gosh, the pig face slaughter. Ah! Oh so like the the pig face like slaughter creature like murder guys were horrible. That was like so terrifying and so scary and legitimately like had my skin crawling because they were horrible, especially like the ones with the chainsaws. I hated that. Um but the rest of the maze, as like creepy and spooky as it was, was mostly like gross. It was just like, it was a slaughterhouse. There was like blood everywhere and guts and like creatures and like, well, creatures like humans with like, ta like intestines coming out. And that was just like super duper like icky, icky in like a creepy, spooky way. But I, it, it didn't put it at the top for me. Um, I did like the nice touch with like the Simon says do this and the Simon says run especially like Simon says run was like really cool um, and I almost like I, I think that that was like a fun way to kind of use like a child's game to like make it creepier because you guys know how I feel about like small children and dolls and stuff. I think that that kind of stuff like always makes things scarier so I thought that that was a really nice touch. Uh, but the ultimate scariest haunted house at Hollow Scream, I feel, is Deepwater Bayou. Uh, and I might have a little bit of a bias with this, just because you guys know that the thing that gets me the most with Halloween events is like eerie things. It's not always the jump scares, it's not always the gore. It's like the eeriness, the spookiness, the like ambiance. And I feel like Deepwater Bayou had the best ambiance of like all the mazes. It was very dark. There were moments that were just like very quiet and it really prepped you for the moments that they do jump out at you. And there were sections that were like really mystical and like ghostly, especially that section where you walk through and it looks like you're on a bridge and there's like water around you. That was like really eerie and like starting out with the funeral and like that was just like a great, it's like funerals and like, you know, like graveyards like are always scary. So that's like always a great way to start a maze. 
And then I loved like the really cool like rooms, like the room with all the mirrors and the one with like all the chairs everywhere. I just like, I felt like that ambiance is really what put it at the top and made it the scariest for me. Uh, so what was your scariest haunted houses? Like what did you think were the scariest? Put your rankings below. Uh, now, now I'm going to move on to the scare zones and the scare zones were fantastic. So I'm gonna be ranking the six scare zones. Uh, I would say that the six scariest is probably the graveyard. I thought it was really cool. I loved that the graves were like really funny. Uh, I loved that they like had little jokes in them. And I really thought that the archway was cool and how you go through the mist and there were like the women in white and things. But I think it, it could be because it was like a smaller scare zone that like you could see each side of it and you really, it felt like you could escape. So like it was scary in itself and like the women like in white like walking around were like super duper scary. But it also like wasn't the scariest in terms of like all six of them for me. Uh, I'd say that number five, like the fifth scariest, is actually my favorite scare zone. And that again, we rank in terms of scare factor, we never rank in terms of favorite. Um, but my favorite is number five, and that's the sirens. The sirens were beautiful and magical, and like the pirates were cool and creepy, and it was just like, it was like stepping into another world. And it was really cool because like, it's nice to have like an underwater theme at SeaWorld and also to have like that darkness. And there's, it was scary. I mean, there were places that they would pop out that I had no idea where they were coming from or they would like follow behind me and I just wouldn't know that they're there. But I do think that that kind of like fantastical aspect is what I loved more than I don't think it was as scary as some of the other scare zones. So my fourth scariest scare zone, I would say is First Fright. It was a lot to handle, like when you first come into the park and they've got like the chainsaws going and like the super creepy people just like hiding in the shadows. But I think it's because there was a little less fog and you could see a lot of the times where they're coming from that I think it's like a solid number four. Like it was really scary, but it also like it helped like keep me like a, a little bit like less scared, a little bit braver. Um, I would say I was a little bit braver because I could see where everyone was coming from. It was like, unless I was like really focused on something else, I didn't get too surprised, uh, which is nice. Like if you're like a real scaredy cat, like when you first come in, you will be able to make it into the rest of the park. But it was really cool and creepy and definitely like scarier than some of the other ones. So it's a solid number four. So my next scary scare zone is number three, and that's the hauntings. Oh my gosh, this, I, I feel like it ranks so high, mostly because of that werewolf guy. He was so terrifying. I legitimately did not think he was real. I didn't think he was real. And then when I realized he was real, I thought he was stuck in that cage and he was not stuck in that cage. He was able to get out. And honestly, even though there wasn't as much fog in that scare zone, it was really dark. Like some of the scare zones have like really cool and eerie and fun lighting. That one was super dark. So it was like really easy for like scare actors to sneak up on you. There were all kinds of ones with like creepy masks and faces. A lot of the ones from, I feel like Simon's Slaughterhouse and kind of like those more of like creepy, like farm-esque like type scare actors were in that spot. And it was just really terrifying. And so I think that that one is just like a really solid, it definitely deserves to be in the top three because I was definitely really scared at that one. Uh, and number two, number two was La Llorona. And that is like putting together all of like my worst fears. There were dolls, there were children, there were ladies with baby carriages and like, I don't know if you guys know this, but Rosemary's Baby is like my all time favorite horror film. And I think just like so unbelievably horrifying. And so all of that, I mean, I know that there's like a Lalderona film as well, but like, it just like, it brought me back to like Rosemary's Baby. And I just, oh my gosh, that one like really got to me. And even though they had like that beautiful, like eerie moment with the like actual Lalderona like ghost, um, I just feel like, 
I, I was also just like deeply disconcerted with all the children and the dolls, uh, which probably makes it easy to guess what, what my number one scariest, ultimate scary zone was, and that is Deadly Toys. Oh my gosh, Deadly Toys was really creepy and really horrible and like all of my childhood nightmares like really just like wrapped into one. I mean those dolls, those like not even just like the, the people like dressed up as little girls were really creepy and really horrible but even like the dolls that they're carrying are they're so creepy and they're so awful and just like whenever I saw them I just like felt my insides just like quivering. Um, and then like they had that big old dollhouse that was just like, I don't know what it is about like little girl things that are just supposed to be like so sweet and so innocent and so nice that is just completely terrifying, completely disconcerting. Even the rabbit, even, I don't know what it was like about the rabbit just like moving in the fog that just like I couldn't handle it and the rocking horse and like the doll that's melted face on the rocking horse. It was it was so scary for me and I could like I could barely breathe. I was so scared. And so that is like easily my number one favorite scare zone. Uh, anyway, let us know what your favorite scare zones were in the comments. Like you can even put your own rankings for the scare zones and for the haunted houses. We love to hear from you guys in the comments. So let us know.